Liz, Meghan, and Samantha's relationship has been tense, often making headlines due to their public arguments and conflicts. Greetings and welcome to Gistbooks, where we provide you with the most recent information about your favorite celebrities and royals. Make sure you subscribe and enable alerts if this is your first visit. Samantha filed a complaint against her sister, Meghan, alleging invasion of privacy and slander. Samantha has been outspoken in her discontent with Meghan. Because of the prominent involvement of the parties in the case throughout the judicial procedures, the case received a lot of attention. Meghan entered the witness stand to defend herself against Samantha's charges, but it quickly became clear that her evidence was full of lies and contradictions. Meghan's assertions were refuted by Samantha's legal team's evidence, which included witness testimony, emails, and texts. A string of emails that Meghan and Samantha exchanged was one of the main pieces of evidence that demonstrated Meghan's dishonesty. These emails showed that Meghan had deliberately misrepresented Samantha, damaging her reputation in the public domain. Forensic specialists confirmed the legitimacy of these communications, eliminating any possibility of doubt to conceal her fabrication of Rich's story. She was defined by the Duchess of Sussex. On Wednesday, the elder and her half-sister's slander lawsuit went to a virtual courtroom. According to her lawyer, she disregarded her sister because she intended to expose her. The former suit star, who was there on the conversation, felt that the accusations were improper and disrespectful, and she insisted that the lawsuit be rejected due to its fatal faults. In order for the words to be considered defamatory, the judge acknowledged that she found it difficult to understand how they were published. The assertions contained in her and Prince Harry's book and in Oprah Winfrey's interview with them are the basis of the case, which was filed last year and demands damages of $75,000. She experienced widespread humiliation, embarrassment, and hatred as a result of the accusations. The hearing was held from what appeared to be her house. She smiled and looked at ease while speaking to someone off camera at first, but she then turned off her camera during the hearing. The Duchess used freedom to support the false claim that she had a life inferior to riches. She was speaking the truth about her education, according to the lawyer who helped her get arrested, she had lied about the fact that her father had paid for it. She is making fun of her sister. Why did she disparage her father? She is betraying her family, who have always been kind to her. She was not at all troubled by them. She disputes the claim that she made up the tale of her rise from poverty to prosperity because she was unaware of the damage she would inflict to her sister. She had to cope with hundreds of threats on her life from an unknown stalker. According to Michael C., 90% of the remarks on TikTok were improper and, to put it mildly, disrespectful to his client. As C mentioned at the outset, don't turn it into a federal lawsuit. It is true that not every perceived affront need to be pursued in court, a child's perception of their, music, upbringing is not a suitable topic for a court of law to address.